Uh, before this tutorial starts, I did forget sh forget to mention in the actual tutorial, you will be needing uh, the software Python for, for this tutorial. So if you just search Python into Google, just click the first link, welcome to python.org. And all you're going to do is click on downloads and you're just going to download the latest version of Python. And once it's downloaded, all you're going to have to type in is idle in your search bar. And this will pop up. And once this has popped up, you just click control and N at the same time and your the, your code editor pops up here. I'm sorry I forgot to mention this in this video because I forgot that this is a tutorial and I'm not explaining this to someone who actually knows how to code. Uh, that's it, enjoy the video. Yo what's up guys, it's your boy ZadrizD and welcome to another tutorial video. In today's tutorial we will be actually going and messing around with Twitter. And what will we be doing in Twitter you may be asking and that is actually working out how APIs work and how you can make things like Twitter for and then anything you want to come after it. So let me show you an, an example of one that I have. So once I tweeted a YouTuber and I had Twitter from fainted is sad. And the way in which you do that is really, really simple. And the first thing you got to do is actually go into your Chrome browser and you're going to have to search a developer Twitter or Twitter for developers and it will come up with this. And once you click on it, it will ask you to sign up for Twitter developers with your Twitter account. You're going to complete that little page. It's going to be really simple. And then it's going to ask you to verify your email. You verify your email and boom, you're on this page and you're going to go click on your name. And if you hover your mouse over your name, you'll get this little drop down menu and you just click on apps once you've obviously registered. It may ask you to do an extra thing if, if it needs you to, uh, to just finish it off. Uh, it will be really simple. Just be questions to make sure you're not a bot. So as you can see, here is the one that I made. So let's just create a new one together. So what do you have to do to make this work, right? You may be asking. So. First, you add the app name, and the app name is actually what will pop up uh, at the bottom of your of your tweet if you do tweet something out. So, if I go quickly into this one, hopefully not showing anything bad, uh, the name is literally Twitter for fainted is sad. So, let's say we want this to be Twitter for I don't know for for Fortnite gamers. If we go Twitter. Fortnite and gamers why not like I don't like Fortnite the game's a bit mad but you know it's just whatever and then the next one you're just gonna have to do the application description so what you're gonna do with it and then for the URL you may as well just write google.com they really don't check it and you can do it for every single one and trust me they won't check this and then here you write whatever you want so I just wrote my name there we go let me just copy this a bunch of times. I recommend that if you're doing this, uh, you should probably do it like seriously because I believe they do check this every now and then, but obviously I'm gonna delete this one because I don't really need it. Uh, and once we click create, you're just gonna skip past that and click create. And now that we have this, you're gonna go on to keys and tokens. But before we do anything with this, I'm gonna shut that down and we're actually gonna go into here and type in CMD. And once you get your CMD open, all you have to do is write CMD. You're gonna get this pop. You're gonna have this pop up, and what you're gonna do is click, say pip install Tweepy. And then you're just gonna click enter. For me, it's not gonna do it because I already have it installed on my computer. But what it will do is just show you a download screen, and it'll go down, 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 and it'll say install to Tweepy. If you get any errors. Uh, then there might be a problem with your pip and I'll check online whether y your version of Python comes with pip because I know that version 3.7, the one that I'm on, does come with pip. So I don't require to download it again. So what we will be doing now is actually uh, typing in the Python code before we even mess around with the developer page on Chrome. So the first thing you're going to do is write import Tweepy. So you're literally just going to write import space and then Tweepy. That'll tell the Python scripts that you're loading uh, the Twitter uh, uh, API uh, scripts so that you can mess around with their functions that Twitter have made themselves. So here you're going to write auth equals tweepy dot o auth handler and then open and close brackets and just and then speech marks and just leave this empty for now because I'll show you uh, what you're gonna have to do in there and then comma and then you're gonna have to do another one now you enter enter space and then you do off again and then dot set 
underscore access underscore token and then open and close in brackets again and you do the same thing where you do two empty uh, two empty speech marks because we're going to fill those in like I said in a second now you write API equals Tweepy dot in capitals API and then off and I'm just going to mention this again wherever I do put capitals as you can see here do please add the capitals because Python, if, you don't, if you're not a Python developer and you're just watching this just to make a meme, you do need um, to add the capitals to make this work. Now you're going to click enter and now this is where you write your tweet. So you're going to write tweet equals and then uh, your speech marks and inside this you write whatever tweet you want. So I'm just going to write this. This is a tweet from Python. Now we're going to click enter and this is going to be the last line of code you're going to have to write and it's API dot update underscore status and then open and close in brackets status equals and then tweet. And that's all you have to do and that will literally tweet to uh, your, Pyth your, your Twitter account once you fill in these details. So what details do we need? So let me pull up uh, the Chrome browser here. And first thing, you're gonna have your API and your API secret key. Please keep these secret, don't show them to everyone like I am here. I am showing them because I'm gonna delete this anyway, so you're not gonna see it. So you're gonna copy the first one, like I am here. And you're gonna put the first one in here, on the first one here. And then you guessed it, you get the second one and you paste it in a second one. But remove the space because sometimes you might copy the space, just remove that. And now for this one, for the set access token, uh, you're gonna see that there is, it's not here. So you're gonna actually have to click create to get that to work. And you're gonna have to copy that. Copy the first one and put it in the first one, like, I, like, like the pattern follows. Then we're gonna open it up again and then copy the second one now and paste it in and I think I missed the letter didn't I yes I did and now that you have this as soon as you click run on whatever Python software you're using it will work okay so now you don't know what Python software you're using uh, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video uh, you can use idle I'm possible I'm probably gonna add this in add this in at the beginning of the video uh, let me just copy this code into here so I can show you what most of you will be using mm, here so you're gonna just paste that in and then I'm just gonna and then you just once you have that in you're just gonna click F5 and then you're gonna save it somewhere so I'm just gonna save it in a random folder because it's not important to me and once I click Save and it runs as you can see now that it's finished running let me just open up Twitter if we actually go to my Twitter account. Hello, this is a tweet from Python. Yes, indeed. And that is really how simple the tutorial is. That is really how easy it is to just tweet from your thing. And if we actually click on the tweet, it will say Twitter for Fortnite gamers. That's how easy it really is. And if there's stuff that you might want to do that I didn't use here, if you actually go to the developer homepage and you scroll down, there are example codes made by Twitter of things that you can do and cannot do, stuff like that. And there's also documentations. And if you want me to make another video on something similar to this, please leave a uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below or maybe just leave a like to, to let me know you're enjoying these. But anyway, my name is Origi. I hope you like and enjoyed. Bye-bye.